So it's been a while since I've worn any makeup and I thought it'd be fun to do a get ready with me. So there's a few products that I purchased recently that I thought it would be fun to try out today. Uh, the first is the Chantecaille Future Skin Cushion Foundation and then two products from the NARS Air Matte range. Um, the blush and the lip what is it called? The Air Matte Lip Color. So I thought it'd be fun to just try them on and see how they go. So the Shantikai Cushion Foundation comes with one refill inside the box. And of course, like many of um, Shantikai's products, the product does give back to a wildlife foundation. This one in particular gives back to the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust. Um, so that's cool, I suppose. And then it has this cute little cushion and from what I understand, the best way to apply this is to do like a little motion like that. So I'm just gonna give it a try. I've washed all my brushes this morning, so um, there's gonna be a lot of finger makeup today. Well, not all my brushes, but at least the ones that I like to use most often. And I purchased the color Nude um, because I'm not very dark this time of year, especially after a whole year of like no vacation or not much outside time. And then I figure I would just do this with my fingers because, I don't know, this seems to be like resting on the sponge more than anything else, so. All right, so I've applied this Shantikai cushion pretty lightly, and I would say that it is kind of like a light coverage, um, medium, light to medium maybe. And what I love about Shantikai Future Skin, the original version, is that it is so, so natural when you put it on. It has coverage, it's moisturizing, and you know, it just looks like skin when you wear it. And so I'm really hopeful for this. I've seen a good review or two about this. So I'm just really, really excited to try it. I hope the color is okay. I think typically I would be a little bit darker than this. So long-term, I think it might be fine. Now for the Air Matte Blush, um, I meant to get the one in Darling, but I got Torch instead. So this color, like look at how bright that is. And I don't know, it like terrifies me a little, but I also think it could be really, really pretty. So I'm just gonna put a bit on with my fingers as well. That's a little more than I would normally wear, but I don't know. It's pretty, I guess. What do you think? And then next, I'm going to try the Air Matte Lip Color. And I picked the color Chaser. And this one, I thought it would be kind of like a tube applicator kind of thing, but it actually has a brush. So that's fun. I just like to clean up the edges a little because I'm not really a like precise lip product applier <laughs> but I think this is exactly the kind of color that I would like so now that we've tried out these new products I'm going to pick out a couple things really to finish up this look and I will be right back so I thought I'd keep it simple and do some of the classic 
products I like. So this is the Tom Ford Glow Bronzer in Terra. And then this is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. And I figure since I'm not doing anything today, that I'll just put on those and call it a day. And this isn't the brush that I would normally use, but like I mentioned, I washed those. Alright, so this is the finished look. I think probably this lip color would have been better suited to like a different color blush, but whatever. It's what I'm gonna look like today. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me video and I will keep you guys posted on how this and the NARS Air Matte products go. But yeah, if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye!